Hi. Uh, this tutorial will be about connecting Max, Cycling74 Max, to Philips Hue lighting system. Uh, in order to do that, you have to download this software, which is called Hue Server, and you can find it on the Mac App Store. Uh, it's four euros forty nine. I don't know the the dollars price, but uh, the price in dollars, but I, it should be around five dollars, I think. And what it does, among a lot of other things, is uh, allowing you to use the OSC protocol to uh, send and receive. Uh, OSC commands to the Hue lighting system. And that's all we need in order to communicate from Max to uh, the, the Hues. So, um, <coughs> just open it and uh, uh, this icon will pop up and you'll uh, be able to, to send OSC messages. So, first of all, uh, let's create an object uh, called UDP send and we'll uh, set the IP address to 127001, uh, which is our local address, and then uh, the the port, uh, which is a uh, standard, uh, is uh, 9031. Um, so now we can send our messages to to the hues to see uh, what the the hues are getting, what messages. Uh, the hues are receiving. Let's create another object called UDP receive, as you can imagine. And the the port, of course, is different, and it's 2331. So if we create a message box in here, we can see uh, the latest uh, command received by our hues. Okay, so let's try uh, with some basic stuff. Uh, on the official uh, official website of uh, on the developers page of the official website of the uh, Hue server, you will find uh, the API with all of uh, with all of the commands you can send to your Hues. So uh, here here they are: on, off, color, temperature, hue, which is the the color, uh, saturation, brightness, uh, and of course you can combine all of this. Um, all of these commands and address them to all of your lights or to uh, specific uh, lamps. Um, well, have a look at this and there's a, a lot of things you can do. Um, let's tr uh, as you can see in my room uh, there are two lamps, uh, two hue lamps, this one of, on my desk and the other one on that little table next to my bed, and uh, okay. F first of all, I'll try to switch them off. So uh, basically, um, uh, you have to prepen before every message you send to the, your hues the commands slash hue slash cmd. Uh, then uh, the the command to switch all of the lights off is all off and you have to put it in uh, quotation marks so all off let's try this okay as you can see the lights are off of course if we duplicate it and say all on it will turn them on okay so it works um, then uh, I want to show you a quick way to change your colors. Uh, as you can see, there's a list of uh, uh, preset colors you can uh, um, you can set your hues to. Oh, so I'm sorry. Uh, you can set your your hues to. So let's copy all of them. Um, and go back to uh, well, let me. Oh. Um, okay, so let's create a U menu, and uh, in the inspector we go to Edit Menu uh, Items, and we paste all of the colors we just copied. But if we press OK, 
there's a mess in here so we have to put commons commas between all of the different colors and it's quite frustrating but I do that so red orange yellow lemon green turquoise minty aqua sky blue oh, uh, blue purple violet magenta pink white warm white cold white working relaxing concentrate reading candle sleepy white I think are romantic lights okay so now we've got the whole list in this U menu um, to in order to uh, assign these colors to the um, to the hues we uh, have to use the second outlet we, uh, which is the menu item text evaluated as a message uh, and I think that's enough so well of course this doesn't work come on <laughs> uh, so let's get rid of this and say prepend uh, hue cmd okay which uh, is the prefix which has to be the prefix I think uh, to all of our commands to the hues okay so let's try lemon okay uh, it turned lemon red okay it's working purple and so on let's go to romantic lights it doesn't work come on ah okay I know why okay this is uh, interesting because uh, it's sending two words and uh, uh, as we can see from here, uh, no wait, no. Uh, well, uh, we have to um, transform this text into a, a symbol. So we have to uh, use this uh, I, uh, this object in the middle of our um, uh, message. Oh, well. Uh, what it basically does is putting uh, come on is putting uh, okay here they are uh, quotation marks if there are two words or more so uh, as you can see sleepy white is now working as well as romantic lights and warm white well they're mm, all similar so maybe you can notice the difference sleepy white okay so uh, this is pretty uh, easy and um, it's really useful uh, but there are a lot of different um, commands we can send so let's uh, try to change the color with the slider so the 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 color function is a uh, uh, in order to change the color, we have to insert uh, uh, an integer number from 0 to 65,535. Uh, um, and in front of the number, we have to say H uh, colon. And if we want, uh, I mean, if we just send this message, uh, we will change the color of all the lights active in our hue system. Uh, but if we change, if we put, if we prepend the the name of the light we want to change, followed by a, a colon, uh, it will change the color of just that light, of course. So let's try to do this. Uh, we'll uh, create a new slider, and in the mm, inspector we will uh, insert a range of sixty five thousand five hundred and thirty six because it goes from 0 to uh, 65,535 so <clears throat> we'll make it a little bigger and uh, let's see what it outputs this should be fairly simple okay from 0 to 65,535 okay and then we say um, prepend uh, H 
uh, column um, and then we send this to uh, our two symbol uh, even if it's not necessary but we send it there anyway and now it's changing the colors I'm changing the colors with this slider um, okay so one thing we can do is uh, automate this process of changing the colors using uh, a metro object so uh, we create a metro 1000 what is this toggle to uh, enable it and then random uh, 65536 okay because it goes from 0 to uh, 535 and okay of course we can uh, put a live dot dial or whatever to change the the tempo huh okay this happens sometimes it just disconnected for a moment but as you can see it's still working and changing the light colors okay, wait a moment <laughs> wait, let's change color okay um, so let's put the range of the uh, time change between uh, 500 milliseconds and 20 seconds and maybe an exponent of 2 and it's a time value so oh, okay the, uh, oh, it doesn't go here but here um, and it's called uh, time interval interval okay Okay, this is a float output, so but we don't, of course, we don't want to use float output. I think there's no real need to transform it in integer values, but what I usually do is divide it by one uh, without the the point uh, after the one, which will, which would output a float uh, result. But if you don't insert the point, it will just give you the the number. With uh, the result without um, uh, an, uh, an integer result, so this is the output of this float, and this is the output of this. Well, it's pretty uh, basic stuff. I don't know if there is a better way to do this, but I do it like this. Um, okay, so. Let's say it changes over uh, five seconds. No, five thousand, of course. Five seconds. Okay. Hmm. I probably changed this uh, before. Okay. Okay, as we can see, uh, the light changes, but not in a properly smooth way, in five seconds. Uh, so when it uh, gets a new color, it changes and it goes to that color in half a second or so. But the cool thing uh, about uh, this Hue server is that you can also control the transition time. Uh, and uh, it's here. It's this little option here. Optionally, you can override the default transition time by adding t, uh, minus t uh, colon and then a number to your command. So, uh, what we can do is uh, uh, set the a variable, uh, a dial or whatever to control the transition time and uh, let's create uh, another live.dial 
uh, in the inspector uh, we, we call it a transition time transition time and well flow uh, flow that no let's say it's an integer and it goes from 0 to 1 to 7 would be okay uh, it's not in seconds uh, it's I don't know I don't think it's a uh, it's a unit of a particular kind um, initial enable let's say 5 which I think is the default or 7 is 7 maybe is the default value uh, exponent 1 let's say 2 okay transition time okay uh, so we have to um, prepend to this value minus t column okay and then this message this new message will have to uh, go after th this message the the color message uh, how do we do that we just prepend uh, append uh, to this come on this how do we do that by telling it to no prevent set prevent set so what's happening is that um, this append object uh, appends what this object uh, no the is set by this prepend uh, object uh, which prepends no which we, uh, well I mean it works <laughs> you see that um, so just to let you see what's happening I think it works I'm not that sure so transition time well let me do this okay if we put it zero as you can see the let is changing in a, in a moment well you can't really see it because the the I think that the the camera of my MacBook has to uh, it, it takes some 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 time for it to 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 change the, the <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but uh, trust me, it's changing in a in a flash. And if we uh, uh, put a um, uh, five value in here, Let's say, oh, come on. it's kind of smooth. And if we change this to 15, it's really smooth and slow. Okay, so, uh, well, there are a lot of other uh, things you can uh, edit. The, the saturation is really cool and uh, the brightness as well, it's really, it's really helpful. And color temperature. And of course you can combine different uh, commands together. Just have a look at this uh, Hue server um, because it's really helpful together with Max. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.